Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter for WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and this is your Mayhem Minute ish. Uh, it's not an April Fool's joke. I have to disclaim that because it is April 1st, of course. Uh, today I was reading about uh, WWE apparently issues a statement on suspicion of Brock Lesnar blading during the WrestleMania main event. Now, if you, you know, watch the show, as many of you have, if you're probably listening to this, um, uh, WrestleMania, uh, uh, Brock Lesnar had a lot of blood. It was pretty messed up. And, and we were wondering that, too. But I think the way he did, I think it was pretty obvious that it was not blading. Now, what is blading? Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the concept, it's been a few years since we've seen all a lot of this anyways um you know it's when they usually take there's somebody's got a little blade like taped to their fingers something like that or gets past it by the referee um and uh and they do a little cut and that's how you know you used to get blood back in the day uh rick flair was very famous for this kind of situation um but uh in, in the case of this and and uh, you know their statement is that they're tvpg and they do not uh, permit intentional bleeding uh, at, at, at this point. And of course, you know, the gloves come on for the referees because, you know, just to be safe uh, for one thing and protect the referees, really. Um, and, uh, and, and the person, uh, Mike Killam over at uh, WrestleZone actually, uh, you know, talks about this and says, hey, you watch the footage back. It doesn't see, seem like he's bleeding beforehand. Uh, there's no point you see anybody get past. It looks like he got busted open the hard way. And this is something, this is also a tactic, and this can still be intentional. Is, um, and, and this happened uh, in a few different uh, cases um, where you, you try to take a hit hard. He tries to take that post uh, shot. They got from Roman Reigns hard to make sure he does bleed. Uh, I talked about this on the Wrestling Mayhem show, and I think uh, maybe briefly on the Raw wrap up. You know, this is a guy that's used to getting punched in the face for real every few months at UFC. So I'm thinking that when they do matches like this, he lets himself get punched, get 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 punched in the face. Um, you know, by you know, as a point of performance. And uh, that he can take, he knows he can take the punishment, and just does, and uh, and and lets this happen. And to that point, um, I I think that's you know I talked about probably one, one of my favorite moments last night was that match in the early on in that that situation, right? And uh, I think that added to it, and we don't see blood anymore. Um, not that I'm calling for let's see blood, let's see blood, like some some people do. Um. You know, it really, uh, I think it did add to it, and now that's a part of that. You know, that's a part of WrestleMania, uh, it, it, it is that situation. And um, I thought it really added to the match, um, and uh, really kind of told a, a, a more impressive story because of it. So, what do you think about this? What do you think about intentional bleeding in matches? Do you wish there was more blood? Do you say, no, that's ridiculous. It's freaking blood, you know. Talking about bleeding for your craft. Uh, let me know on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. At Mayhem Show on Twitter. Personally, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And please check out everything else in our friends at IndieWrestling.us and SliceOnBroadway.com for supporting the shows. And we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.